Your Onefinity comes with the revolutionary stall homing feature. This feature allows you to home your Onefinity without the use of delicate, easily broken switches. It also means that you will no longer have to deal with the hassle of wiring. The stall homing works by monitoring the current and voltage of the stepper motors. Once the set current and voltage is met, the axis will be homed. Because each machine and their motors are not exactly the same due to tolerances, we have given the ability to adjust the settings if you find that stall homing is not working properly. Let me show you how to home the machine. Locate the home button on the top right corner of the controller screen. By pressing this button, all three of the axes will go to their home location. The X and the Y will turn green and the Z will turn yellow once homed. This is what the screen should look like if you've had a successful homing. There are two types of stall homing failures. The first of which is the axis running into the end of the rail and continuing to run. The second type of failure is the axis stopping short in place or never reaching the end of the rail. We'll go over the continuing to run failure first, then the stopping short failure. In our examples, we will have faults in X for better visibility on camera. Your axis may be different, but all of them are remedied the same. As you can see, our X axis hit the end of the rail and kept trying to go past it. We've pressed the digital E stop to stop the machine and make the necessary adjustments needed to correct this. From the control page, hit the three line menu button in the upper left corner. We'll then select the correct motor that is not homing properly. In our case, it's the X rail, which is motor zero. Once a motor number is selected, double check the correct motor is listed under the axis dropdown. Once confirmed correct, scroll to the bottom and find the section labeled homing. Find the value stall current. We'll be adjusting this number value. The default value is one. For axes that do not stop, we'll be decreasing this value. Starting with one, we'll decrease it by one tenth at a time. With each one-tenth decrease, we'll save in the upper left. Jog the machine a bit away from the ends of each axis and retry homing. We'll use a rinse and repeat method until we find a number that works correctly, ranging from one to point. Make sure to hit save between each value change. You'll notice in this example our X is stopping short, and as a result, the machine thinks it's at zero, and if jogged to the right side, will ram into the end of the foot because it thinks it has farther that it can travel. Let's correct this. From the control page, hit the three line menu button in the upper left corner. We'll then select the correct motor that is not homing properly. In our case, it's the X rail, which is motor zero. Once a motor number is selected, double check the correct motor is listed under the axis drop down. Once confirmed correct, scroll to the bottom and find the section labeled homing. Find the value stall current. We'll be adjusting this number value. The default value is one. For axes that stop short, we'll be increasing this value. Starting with one, we'll increase 0.1 at a time. With each 0.1 increase, we'll save in the upper left, jog the machine a bit away from the ends of the axes, and retry homing. We'll rinse and repeat until we have a number that works correctly, ranging from 1 to 4. Here's an instance of the machine homing properly. Remember the state status is an indicator of if we have homed correctly. Disregard the toolpath status until you've homed the machine, loaded your material, loaded your file, and XYZ zeroed your workpiece. Only then does the toolpath status matter. We hope this video was informative on our revolutionary stall homing. If you have any questions, you can find us on the forum or reach out to us at support at onefinitycnc.com.